I quickly want to mention that unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do the captions for these videos. They're turning out a lot longer than my normal videos and it puts so much extra time on the process and I'm not gonna lie, I really just wanna play the game. I'll still do captions where I can and if I have time I'll come back and do these as well, but for now at least it's just going to be auto captions. Sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to Bolt Hunters, or as my mum calls it, Velociraptors. I did a little bit of work between episodes. Mostly getting a few more chip bolt rocks, which is great. Unfortunately, I didn't find any more chromatic iron, but we'll deal with that when it becomes a problem. And I set up some quick farms, so I've got some basic resources going for like food, and in case I need it for trading, or in case it comes up in the altar anytime soon. Speaking of the altar, last episode we crafted our first bolt crystal, and I have every intention of running this vault today. However, before that, I want to get a bit more set up and make sure I'm wearing something a bit better than my current paper. I at least want to upgrade to cardboard. So, in order to do that, first order of business is to get some villagers going so I can get some basic enchantments. Hopefully the um, iron golem that interrogated me last episode won't notice. You know what? I, I'll take that. It's cheap enough and I'll, 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 I will take that. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. You know, you really want to become a librarian. It's the best profession these days. Do you not wish to be a librarian? Okay. Um, I'll try someone else. Maybe they want to become a librarian. No, I'm going to take it for 18. Now I've got efficiency, silk touch, and mending. The main thing I'm missing is unbreaking three. Obviously, there's other things I need, like fortune and feather falling, but and breaking three is top priority. Mm. I'm gonna do it. I need to get some emeralds. You look like a good place to get emeralds. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to take this for now. I'm gonna have to take this for now. I think I'm ready. Well, I say ready. I, let's be honest, I've been stalling. I'm terrified, but I'm also, I really want to try this out. And, you know, if I die, I get all of my stuff back. So I don't actually have anything to lose. I'm just, you know, mildly terrified, but I think it's time. Ooh. It's got Oh god of course it's a snow theme. Oh god. Well Oh, it's a scav. Well oh uh, hold up, hold up. Okay. So I was apparently so nervous that I just forgot to explain anything, so let's do that quickly now. This is a vault, or essentially a series of rooms all connected by corridors. Rooms can be one of three types. The first is common, which are randomly generating points of interest with ores or chests either guarded by fizzle spawners, which are properly known as ambush spawners, which spawn mobs before disappearing, or regular spawners, which will just continually spawn mobs until either you get out of range or you destroy it. The second type is challenge rooms, which have big rewards like a lot of chests or coin piles, but they also have a lot of mobs, hence the challenge. Finally, there are Omega Rooms, which are super rare, but have tons of loot and also have the benefit of no spawners. Okay, so let's address the first thing I said. <laughs> of course it's a snow theme. Essentially, all the vaults have a theme, which determines both the block palette of the common rooms and corridors in the vault, and also things like the type of mobs that can spawn. For example, in this snow-themed vault, Drowned will spawn, a desert theme will have husks, and a cave theme will have zombies. Some themes also have an added danger. The snow theme, for example, can have powdered snow, which is very dangerous. Luckily for me, I believe powdered snow only generates after I hit level 10, so I'm safe for now. Finally, I said- Oh, it's a scav! Each vault has an objective, a task which, if you complete, will give you a lot of experience and a lot of loot. A scav is essentially a scavenger hunt. You can see at the top of my screen, I meant to find three different types of items. If I find all of these and then submit them to an altar, then I win. 
There are two other main types of objectives. Kill the boss, where you need to find a set amount of obelisks, and clicking the final one will spawn a boss which you need to kill. And the other main objective is Monolith. Monolith is the easiest of all the objectives, as all you need to do is find a set amount of lanterns, light them, and then go back through the portal you came in. Before level 10, Monolith is the most common objective to get, weighted at I believe 80%, while the other two are at 10% each. After level 10 it swaps, and Monolith is at 20%, with the other two being at 40% each. So I was actually lucky, or you might say unlucky, to get a scav on my first vault. The main things to keep in mind inside a vault are 1. You don't naturally regen health in the vault. 2. If you die, you lose everything you found, but since I'm on casual mode, I will respawn with what I came in with. And 3. The aim is to either complete the objective or grab what you can and leave. I know that was a lot of information, so let's just get going. Um, okay. Okay, well there's a altar in my first room. Let's... Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. All of that. That's a vault fighter. Can you tell that I am sort of just in a state of panic and don't really know what to do? Oh yeah, um... I have already... I've already lost three hearts, and you don't regen in the vaults, so I'm just gonna try and play it a bit more carefully if I can. I like I said, I'm probably going to die. Um, okay. At least. Oh god. Um. Okay. That was strangely good. Um, what do I need? Rip pages. I don't think I've got enough in my need yet. I know there's a ton more stuff both up and down, but I, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm panicking. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm panicking. So um, I'm just not gonna deal with that right now. I'm just gonna see if I can find some easy places that I can see. Okay, that. At least it's fizzled, but that's a lot of that's a lot of mans. Um, okay. Oh, I do actually need that. Um, you. Oh god. Um. Okay. That's very good stuff. And. Um, I don't need you, and I don't need you. I'm like, actually shaking, like, you know, I thought that, like, watching Vault Hunters was tense, I, there's nowhere near as tense as playing, um, it's incredibly tempting to just bail because I'm scared that I'm going to die and lose what I already have, but... You fizzle. You are. 
I'm not very fast. Okay. I think I'm very slightly getting a handle on their movements now. Which is good. I keep also being hammered that something's going to be behind me. Oh, um, I want lots of that. Um, okay, let's use you. Oh yeah, you're very helpful. And I do not need that. Okay. Um, I don't need to push a And Ooh, I've got both red pages that I need. Okay. I said the other two I need a spider soul charm from Gilded, which seems incredibly unlikely. And I need a drown hide from living. There's a grenade down there. I kind of want that. Please tell me this wizard. Yes! Oh! You didn't. That was a mob trap. Okay, you're a slow boy. Deal with you. It's these other guys that I'm worried about. Okay, okay, 14 minutes and... Okay, that didn't fizzle out. I'm just gonna leave. I'm really not the best with directions. Pretty sure that was a good one. There you go. Okay. That did not fizzle. Oh god. Okay. Um. Something went off just then. Um, ah, this guy. Ah, I'm like, yes, I'm playing scared. It's because I am. Uh. <laughs> I really hope I don't get lost. I think I know where I am, at least vaguely. Maybe you are, maybe. You. Okay, real fast. Real fast. Don't like you. Okay, that was one of the things that I need. Um... I'm pretty sure that was one of the things I think I was just playing a soldier. Um I don't know, I, I'm just not fast enough to do this. Oh my god. Okay, so it's not kind of good. Everything's fine. Um Okay, everything might not be fine. Even though it's literally right there, I think I might have to just abandon it. Oh, 
Okay, no, definitely abandon it. Try and get out. Try and get out. Try and get out. I'm going straight back to the start room. Uh, so, one east. Try not to trigger anything on the way and not take too much full damage. Uh, it's a miracle if I get out of here alive. I think I should be back. Yes. Okay. At least I'm back on track. South is home. Is that the port? That's the portal. Don't die. Don't do some stupid full damage. I did it! Oh, I, I gained a level. Uh, oh, that was... That was terrifying. Okay. Seven coin piles. 25 chests. 59 mobs. I, um... One trap. Yeah, that was a mob trap. That that was that was hard. I killed a lot. I I killed a lot of mobs. Finding that. Oh. Oh, that was that. Uh, that was scary. That was fun though. That that was scary and fun. And I have a skill point. I can take heal. Oh, I'm taking heal with my first <laughs> with my first skill point. I've got two chromatic steel. And oh, I'm so happy about the shulker shell. <laughs> Obviously, not super useful yet, because it's only one and I need two, but I actually got a decent amount of stuff. Okay, I don't need to put the scaffold on there. <laughs> I'm still shaking. <laughs> I want to run another one. And this is a very easy recipe. The second crystal. This one is level one. Which means, despite how much of a flailing mess I was just now, it's already scaling up. But that's what this is all about. But first, before we run the second vault, I have an unspent skill point that I need to use. And I think... Heal. Heal will be the most important thing to get with this. Now, at least when I get hit, I have some way of at least, when I have enough mana, healing back up. Anyone up for round two? Oh, I love this theme. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna say, the build, the builders for Vault Hunters did such an amazing job. I mean, this place is just beautiful. I mean, it's terrifying, but it's beautiful. Oh, you're not gonna be. Ooh, you are prison. Oh, this is good. That's good. Oh! Oh, that's so cool. I got. I need to show you that after we get out of here. That is. So cool. I got the chest scroll. Let's go. That's a baby zombie. That's scary. Oh, 
I remember what button I put heal on. That's that's good. I'm glad I remembered that. Okay. Okay, that was scary. I think that was a fizzle spawner, so I think hopefully we're not going to immediately die. Um, do not need the sunflower. I'm going to just drink this. Okay. Okay, that's huge. That's another shulker shell. If I get out here with this, I can actually make a shulker box, which would be really, really useful. Still got 16 minutes. And I know I'm still not looting these rooms as well as I should be. I should definitely be going both up and down and sort of checking each room individually, but I'm really just trying to sort of see, go where I can see, see if something looks dangerous. Ooh, that is... This is a dangerous one. But that is a monolith. Which means if I find one more... And don't die to the zombies. If I find one more and get out of the vault, that would be huge. But that, that was a very scary spawner. I think this one probably will also be a very scary spawner. Yep. Okay. Both of those are a bit, bit too scary for me. That's even scarier. East is home. I've reached the end of the vault. Okay. That will do a lot of damage. Oh, I hate spiders. Okay. Heal is doing absolute work play. I love it. I would definitely be long dead if I did not have heal. So that's big. <laughs> that was fizzled. And decided to send me a spider, which was lovely of it. <laughs> Oh, 
I do not have room. That was done. That was done. Make sure you've got room before you do that. Got it. Throwing that on my foot. And then doing it. Okay. Nine minutes. This is immediately, which is huge. Oh, that was a lot of stuff. Um, Oh, but you set the spider, as you always do. I'm set off something, I think, downstairs. They're dying downstairs? What's going on down there? I triggered someone somewhere. I hate that I don't know where they are. real estate. Mm. I feel like this is probably not going to work. Somehow, kind of did. All right. Oh, hello. Where did you guys come from? Oh well. Oh god. I'm supposed to watch where you're going. Rem remember that. Two and a half minutes left, but I do not dare push myself. I think what these things are cooler. And we leveled up again. I think we did well. 26 coin piles, 36 chests, 68 mobs. No trap this time, thank god. We got some huge upgrades. Didn't get anything out of that. But that's okay. But now, I can make a shulker box, which will be so useful when looting, as much as I haven't had to make too many hard decisions because I don't go through things very quickly, but it will still be great. Now this, this is one of the coolest things I've got. I mean, a lot of these things are going to be incredibly useful, and I'm surprised that I've managed to get quite so much stuff, considering how bad I am at looting, but this... I, I probably shouldn't be as excited about this as I am, but if you put one of these in the middle and surround it by driftwood, you get a gilded chest. And I mean, just look at it. Also, it's another row bigger than a normal single chest. It just, it just looks so cool. Uh, I swear, the artwork and the models and everything from Vault Hunter is just so amazing. I honestly don't know how they do it. The other major upgrade we got is the ability to make a shulker box. Now this is going to make looting in the vaults so much better, because now instead of only being able to hold what I can fit in my bundle and in my inventory, I have a whole extra section that I can put things in, which is going to be so useful. Hmm. I mean, it's not much, but it'll do for now until we move somewhere else. And I tell you what, before we finish this episode, how about we work out what our next vault crystal is? Please don't be too hard. Okay, now pointed dripstone, I don't think I have any, but that'll be a good adventure to go on. And then the rest? I think I can do the rest now. 
looks like next time we'll be starting off on Adventure for Dripstone, and then we'll probably run another vault. As for my unspent skill point, I think I'm going to think on it. I'm really not sure what I want to take, so I'm going to think on it between episodes, and hopefully we can start next episode off with spending my skill point, getting that dripstone, and running another vault. But until then, I hope you have a great day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!